the Nosset Toilet Buddy Tank Basket. And after we will have woven the first, um, the first four rows, as you can see here, this is 3 eighths of an inch flat, then a row of quarter inch um, flat or flat oval dyed, and then two more rows of 3 eighths inch flat. Now we're going to get ready to do the triple arrow or a three rod arrow. Um, this is very simple. The first row is basically three rod wheel. I'll just, we'll go over that quickly first, and then I'll show you exactly how to do the arrow. So first you start with three separate pieces of round reed. Um, I'm using number three round. And I try to make sure that the pieces are um, big enough to go around the basket twice. Once for the three rod and then the second row to make the arrow. So you insert your three pieces behind three separate stakes. Again, this is for um, three rod whale or tri triple twining, whichever you'd like to call it. Always start with your furthest weaver on the left hand side. You're gonna go over two stakes and then behind the third. Again, start with the one on the farthest from the left, over two, behind one. You're gonna continue this way all the way around the basket, over two, behind one. We're gonna weave all the way around and then I'll come back, show you how to finish off the row and do the arrow. there now we're back at the end after doing one row of the triple twining and we're gonna do a step up before we start the arrow and to do the step up you just stop in the space before the last space you started and instead of working with the left you're gonna start with the right weaver and again you're gonna go over two behind one and out now take this right weaver over two behind one and out I'll slide this over so you can see. Over two, behind one, and back out to the front. So now you have completed one row of three rod whale or triple twining. Now we're going to do the arrow portion. And the arrow is basically three rod whale, but it just flips the three rod whale upside down to form an arrow. So again, you're going to start working with the left weaver. You're gonna go over two and behind one, but you're gonna lift these up, go over two, and go underneath the weavers. Keeping those back, they'll move around a bit. And you can see right there, there's your arrow. Again, start with the left, lift these up, go behind the stake, bring these back out, they'll flip back to the inside. And there's your arrow, again over two, lift up. If you use this hand, your left hand, and pull these out of the way, behind one and out. And this is the design you should see. It's just an arrow, it's basically three rod whale, just upside down, and you're going underneath your weavers instead of on top of them. So I'm gonna finish out this row, get back to the beginning, I'll show you quickly how to end it. Okay, we're back again and I have completed the three rod arrow and as you can see you can quickly see as I show you around the basket what the arrow looks like I'm also going to show you from the top how it should look like when you end before you finish that step up and this will apply even if you just do the regular three rod arrow so from this angle you can see you started your three pieces right here and you're finishing, here are your three pieces. This is how the row should end, if you can kind of see that. So you have basically six pieces in spaces consecutive to each other, no overlapping. So to finish off, um, we also need to do a step up here, and it's a little bit trickier with the, um, with the three rod arrow, just because um, you have to figure out where things are going. So I'm just gonna trim off just what I need I'm using some silly scissors here. And again, we're gonna start, instead of with the left, you're gonna start with the right. 
So I'm gonna move these ones on the left out of the way. You're gonna go over to these two here, and then you're gonna go lift these up a little, and you're gonna put this inside and fish that all the way through. And that's gonna finish off that arrow. You can see the arrow right there. So again, take the one on the right, go over to, lift up, and go inside. And then we'll do the very last one. Make sure you can see this. So I just lift up a little bit, go over two, and then inside. Then you can kind of pack it all down. There you go. And that is how that should look. So if you look, and I'll also show you from the top view as well again so you can see kind of how it finishes off. So that's how it looks on the inside. You can trim off those shorter, you can do that now, or you can do that later um, after you finish the basket. You're gonna do another three rod arrow as soon as you do the randing on this Nosset um, tank topper or tank buddy basket. Um, so we're going to get to the randing in a minute, so if you want to, um, that'll be a separate video on how to rand. It's very quick, um, it's French randing, just over two under one, just at a diagonal. So if you are interested in learning how to rand or want to see how it's done, check out the next video and you'll be able to see how to do that. Thanks so much, this is Jen at BasketWeavingSupplies.com and Hook and Weave Designs. And um, please leave your comments and any messages and I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. Thanks so much.